Let's talk about some running backs as we continue our Colorado position previews. And this might be the deepest and most talented group top to bottom that we've seen at Colorado since maybe 2002, back when they had Chris Brown and Bobby Purify and Brian Calhoun as a number three back. Uh, that was a really good one, two, three punch. This group might uh, go five or six deep. Um, I really like this group. I think this is one of the uh, best, uh, deepest, and most talented groups on this roster. And uh, it might start with Alton McCaskill, uh, the transfer from Houston, who uh, just two years ago was the AAC Rookie of the Year, rushed for nearly a 1,000 yards and 16 touchdowns. Missed all of last season with a knee injury, uh, but he is healthy. He went through some spring uh, you know, at Houston before transferring, and he is now here at Colorado. A big back that uh, I think he could be the number one back for this team. Um, where the carries go from there, um, you know, it's, it's going to be interesting to see because they've got a lot of uh, options there. Uh, but I think it might go to Savion Wilkers, Wilkerson, uh, the transfer from Jackson State. He played for Coach Prime last year at Jackson State, obviously. Uh, he was first team all swack last year, rushed for over 1,000 yards. The year before that, he was at Delaware State and was all MEAC first team. So um, he's got uh, some pretty good uh, track record in college already. All conference, two different conferences. Now, it has been at the FCS level. He's going to try to prove himself at the Power 5 level. Uh, and But he's a guy that uh, has just been, he's been successful everywhere he's been. So I'm looking forward to seeing what Savion Wilkerson does here. Um, Cavossier Smoke is another one uh, from Kentucky, a transfer, sixth year senior, rushed for over 1,500 yards during his time at Kentucky, mostly as a backup. But he's a guy that uh, certainly gives them depth and a really good option uh, in the backfield as well. And then Dylan Edwards, the true freshman. Um, it's hard to put a guy like this, uh, you know, in a third, fourth, or fifth spot. But I think that's might be that might be where he is uh, at least this year. Um, a super talented four-star recruit who was originally committed to Notre Dame, uh, but flipped to Colorado. Uh, rushed for over 90 touchdowns in high school. Super fast guy that might even play some time uh, in the slot. For this team, but uh, he's a guy that I know Buff fans are super excited about. And then uh, you have two guys that are coming back from last year's team. Anthony Hankerson is a guy that I really like. I loved his talent last year. Thought he had the makings of a, a, a really good running back uh, for the future for Colorado. Um, I think it says a lot that uh, I'm listing him fifth here uh, because I, that's how good this group is. Because I think Anthony um, is starter potential at some point, maybe even this year. I think that he could be even higher on this depth chart. Uh, so we'll see. But uh, you know, he's got a lot of talent. And then of course you have Charlie Offerdahl, the walk-on that that everybody loves. I mean, just a workhorse guy um, that uh, he grinds. Uh, he who knows if he'll get put on scholarship or not. But the previous coaching staff loved him. This coaching staff loves him. Uh, Charlie, uh, we'll see if he gets a shot. There's a lot of talent ahead of him, but you know that if he can, if he's going to get the ball, that the, that he's going to do something with it, and the Buffs are going to like what he does with it. So very talented group, very deep group. I'm excited about this uh, running back group.